Well, I just wanted to do a quick soap opera update after I did the rankings for October. We've had some news going on backstage at some of these shows. Uh, General Hospital in America, Hollyoaks in England that I'm going to talk about today because of firings going on backstage, backstage drama always happening at some of these shows. Now, the Hollyoaks firing from last week is more controversial, in my opinion. But first, we'll talk about General Hospital or Boo Boo. Shout out to Boo Boo. Um, I think that, I mean, where to begin with the firing of Ingo Rodmaker? I'm always going to be terrible with names. That's just something everybody's going to have to fucking get over because I am not good with names. I don't know if his name is Ingo Rodmaker or Rada Major, I've heard both pronunciations. Either way, the dude was fired. Now, he also had controversy this week because of, you know, posting some transphobic post on Instagram, and uh, that got him in trouble. But what actually got him fired is being anti-vax and not getting the vaccine. Um, but the thing is, like, of course, stands are always mad at things that they don't understand or whatever. Like, this is not General Hospital doing this. This is an actual, Disney owns ABC. ABC owns General Hospital. This is a Disney-wide thing that everybody on these shows, on all of the Disney-owned shows, has to be vaccinated to work. Ingo decided to not do that and thus was fired. And this is no loss for General Hospital. Let's not act like... Jax is still a viable character that anybody truly gives a shit about. Come on now. He's like been a part of triangles for like the past two decades that nobody really cared about, in my opinion. So the show losing Ingo for this isn't a big deal. Now, the other rumor is that Steve Burton was also fired from General Hospital, which would be a bigger firing for the show, of course, playing Jason Quartermain, a big character. But once again, the stands are acting like the show can't move on without Jason. What are they going to do without Steve Burton? Even though they moved on without Jason, and well, they moved on without Steve Burton years ago when Steve Burton left the show for Young and the Restless, and they did a new Jason, even though it turned out to not be Jason, it turned out to be his brother Drew. But I mean, the stands—it's become a theme on this channel. I have to talk about stands all the time being wrong. They're wrong again because, like, I don't know if this negative press is good for General Hospital. I doubt it is. But I think, like, overall, this can be a good creative thing for General Hospital. As I talked about on my rankings, putting, I believe I put General Hospital 6th, and I don't even know if it's going to stay that high after November. We'll see. They could use new creative directions. The characters of Jason and Sonny and Carly are so overexposed and old at this point that it doesn't still work that great. I've already talked about this. So I don't think the show losing Jason is that big of a deal and maybe they can I, I assume that they're either going to write Jason off completely because they can't make somebody else come and play Jason the same way they did the first time when uh, Seaburn Burton left the show for Young and the Restless and have, make it be Jason with a new face I don't see them doing that so if they're going to recast Jason there's going to have to be no mention of his face and it's just going to have to be a new Jason or they could go the route where there's just no Jason. Do they kill him off? Do they pretend to kill him off? I think the show can maybe go the route of uh, maybe they can eventually talk Steve Burton into following the policy, or maybe the policy will eventually go away. And that way, it's like a temporary leave for the character of Jason. But overall, I think they should just ride the character out. That may be controversial because I know the character of Jason is very popular. But like I said in my rankings for October, I just find that when General Hospital focuses outside of the mob, it's actually a better product. But they clearly have a tough decision to make because if they write out Jason, it's going to be a very quick exit out of nowhere. They're going to have to change a lot of their plans going forward because of this. So we'll see. There has not been an official word if Steve is even out or if he ended up following the policy. So it all remains to be seen. I just feel like, you know, a lot of these soap opera 
a lot of the soap opera media doesn't want to ask the hard hitting questions to these shows. I don't know why. I think it's because they still want to keep info. But both the soap operas need the media more than the media needs them. So I kind of don't understand why. I, I guess it's mainly the more little soap opera press because the, the soap opera press is smaller than it used to be. But I don't know. I feel like both the press and the soap operas would be a hell of a lot better off getting information, giving information, and just, you know, maybe finally starting to not try and sweep all of their problems under the rug like they've been doing for decades now because they don't get the press. They could do that because they don't get the press. So they can sweep problems under the rug, but it's not best for these shows, I don't think. So we will see if they end up writing Jason out or if we get a recast or what they will be doing with the character of Jason or if Steve Burton is still around. We do not know for sure, but we do know that Ingo and slash the character of Jax is gone. Not a big loss at all. Let's move on to Hollyoaks, which I think is the more pressing firing because we have the, the actress Sarah Jane Dunn, I believe is her name. She has played Mandy on Hollyoaks since 1996. It's one of their longest running characters, which on Hollyoaks is the feat. So that's a big axing when you really think about it. Now, the reason she got axed, nothing to do with COVID relations. No, she got axed because she has an OnlyFans. And it's apparently a very uh, lewd OnlyFans, I guess. Certainly lewd enough for the soap opera Hollyoaks. So they sacked her last week controversially because, you know, in the past, Hollyoaks has had calendars with their female characters that, you know, are supposed to be sexy calendars. So because in the past, Hollyoaks had done calendars with their female characters being sexy, it's kind of a bit hypocritical of them to fire uh, Sarah over this and her having an OnlyFans. So it's very controversial from this soap opera to do this, especially such a long-time character. And, you know, British soap operas can be petty, so they will probably kill off Mandy, I would assume, but who knows? Maybe they won't. But yeah, I do find this firing to be controversial because it just, it's just the hypocrisy. And, you know, Hollyoaks is always having these kind of backstage issues as of late, it seems like, with their, their actresses and their actors. 